Hi folks, it's Jeff Watt again. Today we're going to be doing a real easy batch of beer uh, called Cooper's Ginger Beer, which is what I started off with when I was in the country of Australia. Um, it's just all extract, should take no more than 10 minutes to get it all done. All right. So the first thing we got to do is empty the contents of this can into a fermenter with two liters of hot water and one kilo of raw sugar. So to mix that up a bit, I'm actually going to be using about one and a half pounds of this corn sugar and a half pound of this light dry malt. We're measuring the corn sugar. Got a pour of yeah, that's about a pound there. About a half pound in here. So eight ounces. And another eight ounces of the light dry malt along with it. Come on. There we go. So on top of this can of syrup, we're adding about another two pounds of fermentables. Now before I pour out the syrup out of the can, I like to have it sitting in a bath of warm water to make the syrup a bit more um, pourable. So that's been in there for about five minutes. I'm going to open it up and uh, put it in the, in the pot. So I got my can of ginger beer syrup, which I'm going to pour into the pot now. Like so. And I got my other fermentable sugars, which I'm going to add in. Here's my light dry malt, along with the corn sugar. I probably shouldn't have put in so much water, but that's okay. We'll get the stuff all stirred up. We'll stir that for a few minutes until everything's all nice and liquidy and there's no clumps of sugars around. After that, we'll just be pouring the contents into the fermenter, topping it up with water, and then sprinkling our yeast. So while we're waiting for our spray dried malt and uh, dextrose to dissolve, I'm going to sanitize the fermenter with the sanitizing solution. It's um, it's a phosphoric acid solution from Five Star. Uh, the name of the sanitizer is called Star Sand. I tend to reuse this stuff for a month or two um, before I pitch it. That way it saves you a bit of money from sanitizing um, solution. So just put your top on, shake the snot out of it for a couple minutes. Get the inside of that fermenter all sanitized before any of that precious wort gets in there for uh, fermentation start. You don't want any rogue bugs to be in there contaminating your precious beer. So that's looking nice and frothy and sanitized inside. There we go. Mmm, that looks pretty good. Everything's nice and dissolved now. So let's go ahead and take this uh, really, really thick wort syrup and transfer it to our fermenter. Here we go, transferring thick hot wort to the fermenter, like so. I'm just going to top it up with water until it hits about five gallons. All right, here's the last of my water I'm going to add. So before I add the yeast, I'm going to take a starting gravity, even though the instructions don't specify for it. Uh, it gives us an indication later on uh, the alcohol content. So before I do that, let's give this a bit of a stir so we can evenly distribute all the sugars. And I'm taking a sanitized cup here for that sample. Yep. Will do. 
So let's see what the magic hydrometer shows us. I'm going to pour in our wort. That's like hardly anything. What the hell? Hydrometer shows a reading of 1.020 to correct for the temperature differential. It's actually 1.022. So it's actually going to be very light in alcohol, but still, nevertheless, a very refreshing beverage once it's finished. So now I'm going to pitch the yeast from Cooper's, which came with the can of uh, malt extract. Cut the sachet, sprinkle the contents nice and evenly over the surface. There we go. Put the lid on our fermenter. Sticking in our airlock, which has been sitting in the uh, sanitizing solution. And boom, we're done. So in about a week, this will all be completely fermented. We'll age it for another week before we get it bottled. Boy, I can't wait to have this one. Alright, see you guys in a few, folks.